The U.S. Defense Threat Reduction Agency, DITRA, in collaboration with Black & Veatch and implementation partners, NDEC Incorporated, Silor LLC, and Global Medical Technologies, pioneered the implementation of the Biological Threat Reduction Program in the Philippines. From September 2016 through March of 2021, DITRA lived up to its mission of enhancing the overall biosafety and biosecurity culture of the Republic of the Philippines. This is probably the first time that you have a project that was completed with nearly 100% accomplishment of what it has set out to do, and despite the pandemic. The Bitter Project provided 15 biosafety and biosecurity training courses, 26 quality management systems training courses, four tabletop exercises, and 27 workshops for laboratory staff and professionals across the country. The project supported the engagement and integration of 31 Philippine nationals into the global scientific community through their participation in DITRA-supported conferences aligned with the BITRA project's biosafety and biosecurity objectives. With these services offered by the ABCS project, it helps a lot in enhancing the skills and capabilities of the staff. It also improves morale and confidence of the technical personnel of the RADAL. The BITRA project also extended support to the Department of Health Research Institute for Tropical Medicine in terms of laboratory equipment supply, the installation and commissioning of critical laboratory equipment, as well as training a wide variety of multi-agency laboratory and management staff on bio-risk theories and practices, on laboratory management and performance, and the operations and maintenance of bio-risk management equipment and engineered systems. We can say that with those trainings, we are now producing more accurate and reliable results. The BITRA project successfully renovated the Department of Agriculture's Regional Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratories for Region 10 in Cagayan de Oro, Misamis Oriental, and for Region 12 in General Santos City, South Cotabato bringing both of these laboratories into compliance with International Biological Safety Level 2 standards. New regional animal disease diagnostic laboratories were also designed and constructed to Biological Safety Level 2 standards for Region 7 in Mandawi City, Cebu, and for Region 3 in Tarlac City, Tarlac. The BITRA project also designed and constructed a new zoonotic disease laboratory in Region 2 in Tagaygarao City, Cagayan which plays a critical role in detecting and diagnosing potentially dangerous pathogens and zoonotic diseases found within the agricultural industry of Northern Luzon. I can safely say that the desired outcome of the BSS project were all fulfilled. We were able to modernize some laboratories. We constructed three laboratories in three regions. We were able to also institutionalize the what we call as quality management, which is very important when you manage laboratories. We have been envisioning before for a much capacitated staff for the Regional Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratories. And with this project, that dream was envisioned since anthrax is very epidemic or endemic here in our region, especially Cagayan and Isabela provinces. The major takeaway that we have is the BSL-2 laboratory that was given to us. This is a major thing for us because recalling the previous lab, it's, it's really far beyond the new lab. The project really gave us so much confidence in our diagnostic capability. So we are able to serve Region 7 in animal diagnostics. In addition to the BITRA project's major biosafety and biosecurity improvements, achieved through extensive training and selected laboratory and lab equipment upgrades, the BITRA project was complementary to the Department of Agriculture's organic efforts by supporting both the department's long-term national and regional infrastructure investment planning and the department's long-term biosafety and biosecurity sustainment needs. Way back 2017, the U.S. DITRA or the BSS project catered the repair of our PCR machine. 
With the facility that we have now, we can confirm cases of avian influenza, Newcastle disease, African swine fever, even hog cholera. In supporting this very important departmental effort to ensure the sustainability and institutionalization of biosafety and biosecurity improvements, the Bitter Project equipped the Department of Agriculture's Central Disease Diagnostic Laboratory, as well as each of the department's 14 regional animal disease diagnostic laboratories, with state-of-the-art video teleconferencing facilities, enabling DA laboratorians and management staff nationwide to collaborate, share best practices, and to engage professionally with biosafety, biosecurity, and laboratory management experts worldwide in real time. It's very timely that some of the laboratories uh, under the BSS project were completed during the outbreak of the African swine fever, and therefore they were able to contribute in the rapid testing and especially in confirmatory tests of uh, samples brought to the laboratories from the different parts of the regions. The project also provided supplies, reagents for the testing. With the integrated master planning document and the biosafety and biosecurity plan of action as guidance, the Bitrip project recently supported the Department of Agriculture in conducting detailed engineering, biosafety, biosecurity, and laboratory capabilities assessments. And from these assessments developed fundable plans for improvements for all of the department's animal disease diagnostic laboratories nationwide. For the site assessments, this helped us in preparing for application on ISO IEC 17025 and uh, we also strengthened our relationship with our radal counterparts from different regions and it made us closer. This focused and coordinated assistance resulted in the Department of Agriculture recently publishing and instituting both a master plan for integrated laboratory infrastructure and a five-year plan of action and milestones for the institutionalization of biosafety and biosecurity throughout the department. This bilateral engagement between the United States and the Philippines is an example of how you can do very efficient project development, establishment and management with the use of the private sector. Both of these landmark documents were developed by the Department of Agriculture with the support of the Bitrip Project, bringing in Palafox Associates for world-class master planning support and international biosafety and biosecurity experts from around the world for technical standards and support. I really feel that there is already a culture of uh, biosafety and biosecurity in our laboratories. Our people were able to build awareness on the critical importance of having this kind of laboratories, especially dealing with the trans-animal boundary diseases like ASF and avian influenza. On January 5, 2021, Agriculture Secretary William Dar signed Department Order No. 1 of 2021, officially adopting the Integrated Laboratories Master Plan for the Department's national and regional facilities and infrastructure planning, helping to bring DA's laboratories nationwide to international standards of biosafety and biosecurity engineering, design, and construction. The agencies of the department was able to come together and craft a five-year strategic plan to make sure that the gains relative to biosecurity and biosafety will be sustained and eventually be institutionalized in the department. The Department of Agriculture's Biosafety and Biosecurity Plan of Action Milestones was developed and published to provide clear guidance and leadership to ensure the long-term sustainability and institutionalization of the biosafety and biosecurity training, equipment, procedures and facilities enhancements to all of the laboratories the project has supported, as well as for the Department of Agriculture's ongoing and future initiatives for bio-risk management. I would like to thank not only the department, but my colleagues at DITRA. Of course, our counterparts at Black & Beach that made all of this implementation of the project very, very possible and pleasurable in the way it has been quickly and expeditiously uh, implemented. In behalf of the Department of Agriculture, we'd like to express our sincere thanks to U.S. DITRA through Black & Beach 
for recognizing the Philippines as uh, their partner and beneficiaries. Very important, noble uh, project on uh, BSS. These targeted types of projects are really the cutting edge of the development in a developing country like the Philippines. The BITRA project has been a major success in its goal of improving the biosafety and biosecurity culture in the Philippines. The fundamental reason for the BITRA project's success and superb results lies in the deep and close working relationships, cooperation, and shared goals between the professionals and leadership of the Department of Agriculture, other Philippine agencies and stakeholders, and the U.S. Defense Threat Reduction Agency's Biological Threat Reduction Program. After nearly five years of our collaborative work on the Bitter Project, we are extraordinarily proud of our achievements in making the world safer.